Hi, this is Alchemist 2, and I'm back again with another movie review. I just recently got a chance to see Sully, and of course, if you know the story, you are aware of what it covers. Um, at first, I didn't like the fact that it jumped around between um, Chelsea's flashbacks, and I agree with my tenant that it was a little bit jumbled and confused at first but at the end everything came together and it made sense but um that was my only nag i thought that it was really a, a harrowing film and it showed the more human side to the story the the side that we rarely get to see beyond the media um and it's just it's so sad to see People making accusations and then uh, doubting the um, the integrity of Sully himself and his co-pilot, and it's even kind of mean. They are um, kind of degraded his co-pilot. I thought uh, his co-pilot was right there with him, going over all the codes and the whole flight manual, and yeah, it just it showed. Um, how fortunate they really were, and I, I think that somebody up there was really watching over them, but it's just, yeah, it's, there's no other word for it than miracle. Um, they also made a reference to 9-11 to it, to it as well, as I thought that was interesting. I don't know if anybody else caught that, but it was very subtle. Well, I thought it was obvious, but I was the only one who made a remark in the cinema about, I, th I went, hmm. Yeah, it was just kind of one of those sad remarks. Um, but I wonder if anybody else took heed of that and due to the fact that actually, yeah, 9-11's not too far from today. So the anniversary's coming up, and I guess it's still fresh in our minds. Uh, never forget, right? But <laughs> I honestly, I thought that the film was very well done. Like I said, my only small nag was just the the jumping back and forth between present day and flashback and uh nightmares that he would have and yeah it was actually very interesting a very uh intriguing study of psychology and the workings of the human mind and um the workings of the media and the workings of the judicial system and sometimes how corrupt the judicial system can be and how um greedy the media is and how they might uh have their own agenda even if it's a good story it's it's like uh they're they were trying to puppet him around and and but then you know it showed another side it showed that it, uh media can actually have a, a good side too they're also human beings and they saw him for what he really was and He's, he's still, to me, I, he's still a hero, and stick around for the very end, because if you do, I swear to God, you're going to cry, but it has actual footage of the 155, and I thought, oh, I mean, it just, it warms your heart, it really does, I think, there are good things that still happen in this world, and it's just so uplifting to see a film like this, even though it is quite gut-wrenching to watch and, and realizing that whenever you go into the sky you are putting yourself at risk and <laughs> you're putting your your lives at the hands of those trained professionals who have been flying for for years and um i would have given this film a perfect grade i give it 4.5 out of 5 the only like i said just the the um kind of disjointed quality. It's, you know, like with Mr. Robot. I, I like Mr. Robot just because of its disjointed um, incongruity and dissymmetry and disharmony and discord. Uh, it makes sense. Uh, in this case, usually I don't like films that jump around. And um, it was actually quite, quite good. It was... Um, just uh, phenomenally done. Tom Hanks was outstanding as usual, and um, I'm really excited to see him in Inferno because I've seen um, <clears throat> a 
course, um, Da Vinci Code I've seen, Angel and, Angels and Demons I've I've seen, Inferno I'm I'm really looking forward to because I, I know it's coming out. I thought, <gasps> yes, I Robert Langdon is back with that, and we've got our main character not really knowing what he's done, but Tom Hanks. It, it just seems like Tom Hanks is really on his game, and it'll be interesting to see him take on a a character who is. Um, Full of intrigue and, and mystery and suspense and just thrills and chills and um, enigmas. So that one I'm looking forward to. Um, Magnificent Seven looks incredibly good. I'm I'm actually doing my own version of it. Um, TTR and I were. That's not the paper with it with the information on it. The TTR and I were, were talking about, yeah, TTR and I were talking about it, and it's basically, um, I'm, we're calling it Warriors, I'm calling it Warriors versus Aliens, because it's like Cowboys, if Cowboys and Aliens, it's actually Warriors versus Aliens, you've got uh, Samurai and Ninjas, they're forced to work together, they've been feuding for years but you've got it's just uh there are only seven samurai left and the reason that we did seven samurai is because the original kurosawa film was the best actually in my opinion in his opinion too uh magnificent seven the, the one they're coming out with now is a western i thought yes i mean i was so happy i i'm i like westerns of uh, west especially westerns like that one and uh like tarantino's westerns are some of my favorites so hateful eight i have i still haven't seen hateful eight but I need to. Um, I love Django Unchained. It's Django Unchained was um, exquisite. I, I really love Django Unchained. Was just awesome. My my dad and I love just loved it, and we <laughs> we got a big kick out of it. It was very enjoyable, very entertaining, great plot line, wonderful characters, and just uh, um, a sensational film. And and this would be along the lines of that and I, I I'm gonna do a uh yeah one of our characters named Tarantino because of that because it's a it's an homage to Tarantino's work uh he's one of the samurai basically he gets uh, adopted in by the samurai and they call him Dirty Harry and I and the, for obvious reason when they used to would of course but going back and it's I'm circling to the creator and um filmmaker Clint Eastwood and uh I think he is an astounding director i really love the the way he portrays he portrays things in a different light in a different way and he's a, a veteran at the at the camera's lens and uh just to to, sh to see all angles <laughs> funny to see all angles of um the facets of humanity in and of itself the good the bad and the ugly <laughs> really connecting all this all, all the dots there they're forming a picture now but um he does a, a superb job of that. I'd, I'd love to see him in a, another film like Gran Torino because that was an absolute masterpiece. And you get to hear about um, culture of people that you you normally wouldn't hear about. And that's what I like. I, I like seeing movies that are similar to that. Um, I don't really know what else to say. I think... Um, that's all I'm going to have to tell you about. <sighs> I'm just tired. Sully, two thumbs way up. Uh, four stars out of five. Almost perfect. Had it not been for the um, the bouncy quality of it, but I understand where it was coming from. And it was uh, just tremendous, sensational, magnificent, marvelous. Um... <laughs> splendid movie that I think that if you have any kind of interest in the uh, the other side of the tale, Sullenberger's own um, take to it yeah, it, it definitely shows you what he went through what his family went through um, Just yeah, it's just a, different, a totally different look, a totally different uh, point of view and I, I, I just loved it and it was awesome. It really was. It was an excellent film, and well worth your time. And stick, stick, 
to the end. I mean, a lot of people don't. Yeah, why should I stay to the stay to the credits? Please, do yourself a favor, and you will cry. I I guarantee it. It will be tears coming out of your eyes. And I I mean I know it was for me. It, it just touched my heart. It really did. And I'm glad that there are people like that that are with us and they're angels on earth and and they don't expect anything. I mean that that's humility. That is true meekness and. I just, I, I love that. that. That's the kind of person I want to aspire to be. I, I really do. But that's that's all I have to say about uh, Sully. And go see it. It's so good. And it's just, it gives you hope and um, faith in humankind, I think. Until next time, live long, prosper. Ciao, tutti.